In the words of Honorable Prime Minister, the corridor, and I quote, will become the basis of world trade for hundreds of years to come. And history will remember that this corridor was initiated on Indian soil, unquote. Wish, vision for Vikasit Bharat. Our vision for Vikasit Bharat is that of prosperous Bharat in harmony with nature, with modern infrastructure, and providing opportunities for all citizens and all regions to reach their potential. With confidence arising from strong and exemplary track record of performance and progress, earning Sapka Vishwas the next five years will be years of unprecedented development and golden moments to realize the dream of developed India by 2047. The trinity of demography, democracy, and diversity backed by Sabka Prayas has the potential to fulfill aspirations of every Indian. As Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address to the nation mentioned, I quote, there is no dearth of opportunities, as many opportunities as we want. The country is capable of creating more opportunities. Sky is the limit, unquote. Strategy for Amritkal. Our government will adopt economic policies that foster and sustain growth, facilitate inclusive and sustainable development, improve productivity, create opportunities for all, help them enhance their capabilities, and contribute to generation of resources to power investments and fulfill aspirations. Guided by the principle, reform, perform, and transform, the government will take up next generation reforms and build consensus with the states and stakeholders for effective implementation. It is an important policy priority for our government to ensure timely and adequate finances, relevant technologies, and appropriate training for the micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSMEs, to grow and also compete globally, orienting the regulatory environment to facilitate the growth will be an important element of this policy mix. Aligning with the Panchamrit goals, our government will facilitate sustaining high and more resource-efficient economic growth. This will work towards energy security in terms of availability, accessibility, and affordability. For meeting the investment needs, our government will prepare the financial sector in terms of size, capacity, skills, and regulatory framework. Aspirational Districts Program. Our government stands ready to assist the states in faster development of aspirational districts and blocks, including generation of ample economic opportunities. Development of the East. Our government will pay utmost attention to make the Eastern region and its people a powerful driver of India's growth. PM Awas Yojana Grameen. Despite the challenges due to COVID, implementation of PM Awas Yojana Grameen continued and we are close to achieving the target of three crore houses. Two crore more houses will be taken up in the next five years to meet the requirement arising from increase in the number of families. Rooftop solarization and muft bijli. Through rooftop solarization, one crore households will be enabled to obtain up to 300 units free electricity every month. This scheme follows the resolve of Honorable Prime Minister on the historic day of consecration of 
श्री राम मंदिर इन अयोध्या फॉलोइंग बेनिफिट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड सेविंग्स अप टू फिफ्टीन टू एटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज एनुअली फॉर हाउस होल्ड फ्रॉम फ्री सोलर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड सेलिंग द सरप्लस टू दी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनीज charging of electric vehicles entrepreneurship opportunities for a large number of vendors for supply and installation employment opportunities for the youth with technical skills in manufacturing installation and maintenance housing for middle class our government will launch a scheme to help deserving sections of the middle class and i quote from honorable prime minister's words living in rented houses or slums or chals and unauthorized colonies unquote to buy and build to buy or build their own houses medical colleges several youth are ambitious to get qualified as doctors they aim to serve our people through improved health care services our government plans to set up more medical colleges by utilizing the existing hospital infrastructure under various departments a committee for this purpose will be set up to examine the issues and make relevant recommendations cervical cancer vaccination our government will encourage vaccination for girls in the age group of 9 to 14 years for preven- prevention of cervical cancer maternal and child health care various schemes for maternal and child care will be brought under one comprehensive program for synergy in implementation upgradation of anganwadi centers under saksham anganwadi and portion 2.0 will be expedited expedited for improved nutrition delivery early childhood care and development the newly designed u win platform for managing immunization and intensified efforts of mission indra dhanush will be rolled out expeditiously throughout the country Ayushman Bharat health care cover under Ayushman Bharat scheme will be extended to all Asha workers to all Anganwadi workers and helpers agriculture and food processing the efforts of value addition in agriculture sector and boosting farmers incomes will be stepped up Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana has benefited 38 lakh farmers and generated 10 lakh employment pradhan mantri 